So Krista, we're very excited to be welcoming you to the Beat Retreat. Tell us a bit about what you're hoping to get out of the event and our three days of discussion and debate. So thrilled to finally be seeing people in person. And this is such a great opportunity to reconnect with a number of former colleagues and connect with new colleagues, um, introduce our new company in Fillion and give people a sense of why I joined in Fillion and what, why I'm part of this broader community. So tell us a bit about the new business. You're, you're the merger of two pre-existing companies and I think brings some really exciting capabilities to the market. What's the spin or pitch for the new business? So we have just launched a new portfolio company within the advertising and marketing community. It is the coming together of a number of different smaller companies that over the years have been acquired and are now part of what we are calling the Enfilian family. I'm super excited to have rebranded and relaunched these companies under one umbrella with the intention of being able to deliver to the marketplace a full funnel of advertising and marketing and consumer experience solutions. Um, more broadly, what Infilian is very much focused on is creating connected marketing and advertising experiences that reward consumers for their time, for their attention, and for their privacy. So all of the innovation that we're bringing to market is really to deliver on that mission. Now, you're going to be speaking on a panel that focuses on the, the importance of partnerships for building an effective digital media ecosystem. What, what interests you about this topic? Why are partnerships so important in today's market? So I started my career on the brand side. I spent the first 20 years in various marketing positions for very, very large brands. And everything that I did when I was a CMO was really dependent on partnerships, whether it was with the advertising agencies or the media agencies that we were working with or a direct sales team or an indirect sales team or a number of technology MarTech partners. I got out of bed every day thinking, listen, I'm not gonna survive if I can't really lean on a number of different partners within the industry and within the ecosystem that I was operating in. So coming into this role where we're more on the advertising technology and marketing space, the fact of the matter is that we're seeing total convergence across all of the different platforms where we're running our marketing or our advertising messages. And we're all tripping on each other a little bit, but I realize that actually when we pause and we play to each other's strengths, there's a power in partnership that has never existed as much as it does right now in our industry. So it's actually one of the benefits of us being part of the Beat Retreat is to tap into the strengths and the credibility and the, the credentials of others in the in the industry to see if there's ways that we can be stronger together it's a great point i mean the market is so complex at the moment what are some of your favorite examples of partnerships that have really helped to make the ecosystem more effective so we are in the supply and demand business for a particular aspect of our advertising technology product base. Uh, Infilian includes Truex, which many people in the industry are familiar with the Truex product. It was the first and the best, arguably, um, value exchange advertising product that was ever launched within the advertising network. We rely on very, very close partnerships with publishers in order to bring that value exchange advertising experience to brands. So whether that's publishing partners like A&E and Fox and Hulu, um, even to the likes of Crackle and Playworks and Funimation and Chegg and across the entire media and content community, we work very closely with publishers who open up their advertising inventory to us so that we can bring the value exchange experience to our, our brands and agencies that we work with. So those are super valuable partnerships on our side. I'd also say that there's tech partnerships where in some cases we may compete with each other, but in a lot of other spaces, we need to partner in order to ensure that the technology integration is completely seamless and fluid. 
for the various publishers and content providers we work with. So in that case, I would give a shout out to our colleagues at Innovid who do a tremendous amount of partnering with us. Uh, in some cases of our business, we very, very slightly overlap, but in most cases, we're, we're better together when we're working with publishers on bringing the uniqueness of our ad format with the benefit of some of their ad serving. And great shout out to Individ there, who we're, we're proud to be welcoming at the retreat as well. Um, a final question, Krista, our, our overarching theme for this year's retreat is growth. We're going to be talking about some of the most exciting growth opportunities opening up for the industry. Are there any growth opportunities you're seeing at the moment which really excite you, which you think can deliver real top and bottom line growth for the industry as we move through 2022? So fortunately, we're coming off of one of our best years ever. In fact, the fourth quarter was the best year on record for our business, our combined business, but also individually the different companies that we have acquired over time. And we're starting 2022 with a tremendous amount of wind at our back where we think that there continues to be tremendous growth in the marketplace is this point around convergence and not getting ourselves overly hyped up about CTV is the only play in town or let's you know swing the pendulum over and start exploring everything that's happening in the metaverse we think that there's growth across all of the different ways that consumers are consuming content um, and also the ability to tap into more authenticated usable first party data to ensure that the investment that marketers are making are really attracting the attention of, of real human beings in relevant ways. So we're, we're very proud of our ability to provide that type of targeting across the different audiences that our brands want to serve. So massive opportunity for growth and being a lot more precise in our targeting and bringing that type of um, human and authenticated interaction with our advertising innovation. Krista, some really fantastic thoughts there to set the scene for next week at the retreat. We're very much looking forward to welcoming you to San Juan and to three days of fantastic debates. Thanks for your comments. Great, look forward to seeing everyone.